When I first bought my house, I occasionally had some problems with water in the basement. Well, I think I figured out why, and I think I need some window wells. I placed the window well up against the foundation of the house in the location where I wanted it. Then, using the shovel, I made a path to indicate the amount of dirt that needed to be excavated for the window well to fit properly. I had to do a lot of digging, but the digging honestly wasn't a big deal. Like, digging's not hard. You know what's hard? When you hit something when you're digging. Especially when that something is like a kajillion giant roots from... I don't honestly even have a clue what these roots were all from. But I'm telling you, there was a lot of them. They were big. They were hard to get out. It was a pain in the butt. And I'm glad I only really had to deal with this with one of the three window wells that I put in. As you can see in the beautiful little collage here, there was a lot of ruts. And there were a lot of work to get out. And honestly, um, if I had to do it again, I think I would have just like... <laughs> I don't know, got a propane torch and just burnt the things out. Just putting a window well in a hole in the ground up next to the house, it's not going to do anything. In just a few years with the thawing and freezing of the soil, that window well is going to be moved all out of the place. So what's important to do is affix it to the house. My window wells came with three pre-drilled holes or punched holes, however they were done, I don't really know for sure, on the outside edges, and I just drilled holes into the concrete block of the basement and put them where they needed to be in the window well so I could run some, uh, I used Tapcons, but any cement anchor would work, through those holes and into the foundation of the house to keep them snug and in place. And this way, the freezing and thawing of the ground and the shifting of the earth and um, things like that, you know, moon phases and everything, won't affect the positioning of the window wells and they will stay affixed to the house sturdily and where I want them. I wanted my window wells to be level, mainly just because I am an attention to detail freak for some things and other things I totally don't care about. Uh, it really doesn't matter if they're perfectly level or not, but I wanted them level. It was kind of tricky to get figured out because the surface they were mounted to was not perfectly flat. And just tightening the screws tight actually would affect the levelness, if that's a word, of the window well. So some of the screws had to be left a little looser than others to achieve a perfectly level window well. I laid down some weed block fabric in the bottom of the window well to, well, hopefully block weeds and honestly any other plants as well from growing up in the window well space and weighed it down with some sand I had laying around from digging up the sidewalk. Uh, most of the time people will put some kind of a decorative rock in their window wells. I uh, didn't have any at this point in time and I was too cheap to go out and buy any at full price. Fortunately, it actually turned out really good for me because like three or four months later, somebody had posted on Craigslist, which if you're not familiar with, is a website where you can list things for sale or for free, and they were giving away a whole bunch of lava rock. So I got a trunk load full of lava rock, which I used to fill my window wells with something decorative, and it didn't cost me a penny. Well, other than the gas to drive out there, but it really wasn't that far away from my house, so... Uh, that's pretty negligible, and uh, I'll just pretend that it was free.